Welcome everyone, I'm Andy Adams and I'm here again with the City Manager Deborah Sargent for this week's Community Update. I'll be acknowledging that we are on the territory of the Lake Wada people of the Wewakum and Wewakai First Nations. Over to you, Deborah, for some city updates. Thank you, Mayor Adams. The Next Stream Tech Competition final pitches take place on Tuesday, June 21st. BC innovators are vying for a share of up to $300,000 in total funding and services. Each team will pitch their products, projects, or services to the judges and answer questions. Winners will be announced on June the 30th. Downtown events have been a big hit and we have more scheduled. Join us as we celebrate Campbell River Pride with the North Island Pride Society on June the 18th. A day of free family friendly activities kick off in Robert Osler Park at 1230 p.m. with the Paws for Pride dog walk. The party continues in Spirit Square from 2 to 5 p.m. with art, face painting, live music and performances. And there's a kite flying day also this weekend, June the 18th, in Robert Osler Park from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come on out for a chance to win prizes. June 21st is National Indigenous Peoples Day and an opportunity for us to celebrate and honor the culture and heritage of First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples. Everyone is encouraged to join in the celebration at Spirit Square from 11 to 5 p.m. June 26th is Greenway's Loop Day and the Campbell River Buskers Festival, where green and walk, ride, or roll on any part of the loop. Enjoy live music on Thursdays at 7 p.m. and Tuesdays at noon with the Spirit Square Concert Series. series. And food lovers can st stock up on delicious goods at the Campbell River Farmers Market every Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Spirit Square and along Shoppers Row. Stay up to date on all city and community events with our community calendar. And if you have a community event taking place, be sure to add it. The Centennial Outdoor Pool and Willow Point Splash Park are now open. Register for lessons and see the pool and splash park schedule on the city website. Yard waste collection delays are occurring due to extraordinarily high volumes over the past couple of weeks with over 50 tons being collected in a single day last week. The city understands the inconvenience, delays, cause, and we're working to resolve the issues. While we work on a solution, please place your yard waste on the curb on your regular collection day. If collection does not occur on your regular day, contractors will work to catch up in the following days. We'll notify residents on social media and through the Campbell River Recycles app of any schedule changes. Thank you, Deborah. And uh, it's so great to see all of the events and activities that are happening uh, throughout town. And I just want to give a, a big shout out to the um, heart of the city, downtown BIA, uh, and the uh, all the different organizations and businesses that are uh, making things like the Concerts in Spirit Square, the Sunday Market, the Loop Day, uh, the Pride Festival, uh, National Indigenous Peoples Day, uh, just uh, should be lots of activity. Now let's hope the weather cooperates and uh, we get some uh, sunny days. Mm -hmm. uh, but now back to the business of the city. I'm pleased to announce that the city's 2021 annual report is now available online and at City Hall and will be considered at the June 27th council meeting. I encourage residents to review the report and share any comments by noon on June 24th for council's consideration. We also have upcoming public hearings where you can have your say on what's going on. Two will be held at 6 p.m. on Monday, June 27th as part of the regular council meeting. The first one is regarding an official community plan amendment to include Great Blue Herons in the Bald Eagle Development Permit Area. The second public hearing will be for a zoning bylaw amendment to allow for a secondary suite and or secondary residence at 240 Stratford Drive. Then on Wednesday, June 29th at 6 p.m., there will be two zoning amendments. One looks at refining the definitions of certain social services such as child care, community care, social care, and substance use care, and where they will be permitted. 
and another public hearing will take place on Wednesday, July 6th at 6 p.m. regarding an official community plan amendment bylaw to improve the hazard, hazard conditions or steep slope development permit area guidelines for human safety and to reduce the, the risk of landslides. Visit the city's website to find out more about these projects and how to submit written comments or register to attend. Moving on to this week's council meeting, if you missed it, here are some of the highlights. Sarah Wright, along with grade eight students from the Phoenix Middle School, presented to council on the Phoenix Active School Travel Program. And it was a great presentation, a lot of fun. Uh, the program uh, that they have done at Phoenix collected data on current road trends and barriers to active transportation to and from school and made recommendations to council to improve safety. Council appreciated the informative presentation and referred the report to staff to include in the upcoming master transportation plan update and to the school district 72 li council liaison committee. Next on council, um, we approved a development variance permit to vary the rear yard setback requirements on, a propose, on proposed lots at Zero Jubilee Parkway. Council also gave first and second reading to the official community plan amendment bylaw regarding steep slopes. And as mentioned, a, have scheduled a public hearing for July 6th, 2022. Council also supported and endorsed a modified design for Hilchie Road bike lanes. This design was based on feedback received from the River City Cycling Club and a technical review by staff. And lastly, Council approved a donation to the Campbell River Adult Care Society in the amount of $4,000 from the Council's Contingency Fund. That concludes this week's community update. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please get in touch with us. For more details, watch for the Council highlights that will be published on the City's website or you can view the meeting webcast also on the city website. Thank you for joining us and have a great week. Thank you.